You know, I actually okay. So, so one of my good friends is Timothy Delaghetto, okay. and he and he's I like actually one. Timothy. Yeah, he he's a man. Um, he he's actually the one who can. He's one of the few people. There were like three people that convinced me to move out here. Yeah. Um, it was him. It was Noel G. And it was uh, my therapist. <laughs> but they're like, you need to you need to go to LA. I feel like you'd be happier there. Just try it out. Um, they weren't wrong. But yeah, um, Timothy. I was watching his videos since I was since I was a kid, which kind of makes him seem older. But <laughs> but um, but I just remember watching his stuff all the time, and so being able to, you know, to actually be cool with him and then see how see his growth too and like what like where he's at now it's just it's really inspiring you know and um i remember like we got to eat places you would always pay and i was always like the broke one like i never <laughs> like i want i was like he's got it all i mean i'm not saying i'm like balling right now but like it just seemed like he had everything together whatever he's like you know youtube youtube pays really well jenny and i was like that's cool. <laughs> i didn't know <laughs> But um, he also helped me to open up because I was really like, I'm still shy. I have a yeah. switch I can turn on, but at the end of the day, I'm still like, an introvert. I just yeah. hide it well. Um, so he convinced me to, you know, get in front of the camera more and get on the internet. Cause like I said, at the time I didn't have social media. So it's a different film and, and social media are two completely different worlds. I mean, in a sense, they, they can benefit each other, but it's, 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 it's totally different. Okay. Um, but you know, it's helped to get to know both, but as far as like talking to the camera like this, like I used to not be able to do that. I'm not, right. like, I wasn't used to in the fourth wall. Um, cause that's like more of a social media thing. As far as film, you really never look at it. Right. <laughs> um, but yeah, he pretty much helped me get out of my shell to, and he was like motivation to help to show that, you know, this is a lifestyle that you could get used to. And and he was right. <laughs> yeah. It's not, it has its ups and downs. It, every, yeah. I feel like every job has its pros and cons. So I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, guys, be a content creator. It's the best. Like, no, it's not for everybody. And there are definitely downsides to it. There's facts. Yeah. But as far as what I'm trying to do and like, I'm trying to use my platform to help people. Because of that, I, I enjoy it. Yeah. um jamie fox seemed like a very genuine sweet person um he seemed very generous and he's and he, different like not saying that i didn't expect him to be like that but i would have expected chris or trey to be like what he was you yeah. know um but yeah like i know i have a lot of friends who've been wanting to meet him they're like i don't know i hope he's not an asshole i'm like he's really not he's actually a really nice guy um, which is hard to find because you can never tell how celebrities are going to be because not a lot of them are as nice as they seem when they're being interviewed on the red carpet or whatever. Like they're not all super friendly like that. So when I do meet like celebrities that are actually down to earth and chill and look at you like a person and not like less of a, lesser of a person, you know, then yeah. I can respect that. Thanks. I don't think people should have a certain status in life. Like, I don't care if you're freaking Oprah. Like, you shouldn't belittle anybody. <laughs> I mean, I'm little, so I guess you could be whatever. But, like, I don't, you know, I don't think anybody should look down on anyone because at the end of the day, celebrities are, are just people, too. Facts. They're not superheroes. That's true. <laughs> Leo Black. It's just that um, I'm a pastor's daughter oh, and a pastor's okay. kind of on me for, yeah, like the stuff that I do isn't even bad, but I could go around my parents in like a tank top and they'll shun me. Like I, I can't even, I can't wear stuff like this. I have to be wearing a bag of t-shirt around them. So. <laughs> yeah, you grow up with strict like, parents. How was that growing um, up with strict parents? A being, strict, being strict, well, not, okay, not being strict, but being Asian, yeah. And being a pastor, like those are just two, that's a combination for failure for your children because they put me like in a box. I wasn't allowed to do anything. I couldn't have friends over. I couldn't leave. Um, I couldn't even be 
in my room because they didn't trust me or what I would do in my room. So I had to be like in their sight at all times. And that was, that was pretty much my childhood. So I felt super free when I turned 18 and I dipped. It was great. <laughs> Thanks. Leo Black.